The movie begins as we see a man named Teruto enter a salon and sit down for a haircut. Moments later, the hairdresser Misaki shows up and greets him cheerfully. As she begins cutting his hair, he tries to gather the courage to ask her out. But suddenly, she cuts his earlobes with a scissor, causing him to bleed and pass out. The scene then shifts to six months earlier when a discount ad lures Haruto to the salon. Here, he meets Misaki for the first time and instantly falls in love with her. He introduces himself as a photographer and she tells him that she just started working here and he's her first client. The two talk about their lives and immediately form a connection. After that, Haruto begins visiting the salon every month, and when he finds out that she's single, he's overjoyed. Back in the present, as Haruto returns from the hospital, Misaki tearfully apologizes to him. She says she's willing to pay for his medical bills and do anything he wants. Hearing this, Haruto takes the chance and asks her out on a date. This surprises her, but since she feels obligated to him, she agrees. Later, when Misaki returns home, we're introduced to her family, which includes her brother Takashi, who owns a restaurant, and his fiance, Ayano. She tells them about Haruto and that she now needs to go out on a date with him. Takashi is very protective of her and refuses to let her do so, but Ayano claims it's not a big deal and it may lead to something. The next day at work, Makashi finds some grey strands in her hair. This worries her and she assumes it may be due to the stress of the job. Soon, the day of their date arrives and the two head out to see the cherry blossoms together. During their conversation, they discuss their jobs and Misaki reveals that she used to have very curly hair as a teen. However, one day, she went to a salon and had her hair straightened. This made her feel so confident that she decided to use her skills to make others feel beautiful and confident. She then asks how he got into photography, but Haruto nervously admits that he lied about it. He said he was always interested in taking pictures and after high school, he began working at a studio. However, the work was too difficult and he believed he had no talent. Therefore, he eventually quit photography and started working odd jobs to make ends meet. He apologizes for lying to her and says that he only wanted to make a good impression on her. Misaki scolds him and claims that she isn't shallow and doesn't judge people based on their profession. She's also mad that he gave up on his dream so easily and yells at him to pursue his passion. Upset, she walks away, but he shouts and says that he'll transform into someone she likes and will chase after his dream. Following the incident, Haruto doesn't reach out to Misaki for a month, which leaves her upset. One day while she's having lunch, he suddenly calls her and thanks her for encouraging him to pursue his passion. He says that he now works at a photo studio and has just received his first payment. He then invites her for dinner, and she agrees, much to his delight. The next evening as Misaki is getting ready for their date, she notices even more grey hair. The two meet for dinner at a posh restaurant, and when she notices the scar on his earlobes, she again apologizes. Haruto says it's okay and gives her a scissor case as a gift from his first paycheck. He claims that he's working with a big photographer, and while it's challenging, he's determined to work hard. He then tells her that her smile reminds him of cherry blossoms. Misaki doesn't know how to respond to this, and she starts blushing. In the next scene, she cuts his hair again, and during this, he shares how glad he is to have met her. This leaves her speechless, and he apologizes for being too cheesy. Later, when they say goodbye at the train station, Misaki shouts that she likes him too and wants to date him, making him very happy. Following this, the two officially become a couple and they go on many dates and have the time of their lives. They're very happy together, but one day, Misaki suddenly becomes ill. Haruto comes to see her, but Takashi gets mad and refuses to let him in. Nonetheless, he manages to get inside and meets Misaki, who's wearing a mask. He wants to see her face, but she says she isn't wearing any makeup and doesn't look pretty. When he continues to persist, she asks him not to judge and reluctantly removes her mask. He's absolutely smitten by her and wants to take her picture, but she refuses, claiming she looks pale and sick. At that moment, Haruto tries to kiss her, but suddenly Takashi arrives and takes him away. That night, Misaki's entire body begins to hurt and she has a high fever. She crawls to her brother for help, who immediately takes her to the hospital. After all the testing, the doctor informs her that she has a condition called progeria syndrome. He claims it's a rare hereditary disease that causes her to age rapidly. Takashi refuses to believe this, and Misaki thinks that the doctor is giving a hypothesis. However, the doctor believes that the situation is a fast-forward syndrome, one of the rarest variants, which means she will become an old woman in less than a year. Misaki is understandably devastated, and before her condition worsens, she decides to spend as much time as possible with Haruto. She doesn't tell him about her illness and keeps on going on dates and making beautiful memories. One day, the couple decides to go see a fireworks show, but it's cancelled due to the rain. When the rain stops, they buy small firecrackers and light them by the beach. During this wonderful moment, Haruto unexpectedly says that he wants to marry her, leaving her speechless. He admits that even though they've only been dating for three months, he knows she'll be his last girlfriend. She doesn't say anything, but gives him a passionate kiss. As time passes, Misaki becomes increasingly frail and her bones and muscles grow weaker. One day, she surprises Haruto at his apartment and says she wants to spend time with him. 
Seeing his camera, she asks him to teach her photography, and he agrees. The two then go outside and take pictures of random things. Later, she tries to talk to him about his proposal, but he apologizes and promises to approach her again when he becomes a successful photographer. She smiles and asks if she can stay with him tonight. Haruto agrees and they go to his apartment, where they end up making love. The next morning before the sun rises, Misaki wakes up and she tearfully looks at him. Before leaving, she says that she had really hoped that they could have grown old together. In the following days, Haruto tries to contact her, but she doesn't respond to his calls or messages. A month passes, and he becomes increasingly desperate. When he reaches out to her workplace, he learns that she resigned exactly a month ago. He then goes to her home, but Takashi refuses to let him in as usual, claiming his sister doesn't want to see him. Despite this, he returns the next day and hands Takashi an envelope to give to her. When Misaki opens the envelope, she realizes it contains the picture she took and a letter that states, I'm worried about you. In the following scene, Haruto is at work when he finally gets a call from Misaki. She informs him that she's moved to another city to be with her ex-boyfriend and already has found a job there. She claims they split up in high school, but she's always loved him in her heart. Haruto thinks it's ridiculous, but just then, a man speaks to him. He claims to be her boyfriend and that they're living together. The man then asks him to stay away from Misaki and not to bother her again. Haruto is devastated and begs her to meet just once, but she refuses and ends the call. Meanwhile, we see Misaki, whose disease has advanced to the point where she's got wrinkles on her face and hair loss. Her brother cares for her and tries everything to cure her, but is unsuccessful. They even try expensive electromagnetic therapy, which is carried out by an external clinic who guarantees results. Unfortunately, this also ends horribly because the therapy turns out to be a scam. A few weeks later, Haruto finally deletes Misaki's number and concentrates on his work. Seeing his distress, a female colleague tries to get close to him. One day, he decides to go on a hike with her to clear his mind. During their time together, he opens up to her about Misaki and how she broke his heart. The colleague feels bad for him, so she encourages him to keep pursuing his passion. Months later, Misaki's condition deteriorates and she is admitted to the hospital. When Ayano arrives to take care of her, Misaki gets jealous over how pretty she looks. During their conversation, she learns that her brother has postponed their wedding. This frustrates her since she feels responsible for the situation. Later, while leaving the hospital, she asks Ayano to accompany her to a special place. They then arrive outside Haruto's workplace, where she notices him from a distance and starts crying. The following day, the doctor tells Takashi that her condition has deteriorated to the point where she won't live to see the spring. During Christmas, Takashi dresses up as Santa and asks Misaki to write down her wishes and put it in a red sock. When he checks on it later, he realizes she has written two wishes. One, to meet Haruto again, and the other, to relieve herself of pain. Having had enough, Takashi finally goes to Haruto's workplace and asks to speak to him. He then reveals the truth about his sister and pleads with him to save her. Devastated, Haruto rushes to meet Misaki and leans outside her door. He breaks down in tears and apologizes for not realizing what she was going through. However, Misaki doesn't come out to see him and stays inside. When our hero departs, Takashi apologizes to her for bringing Haruto, but she says it's fine because she's glad to hear his voice after so long. In the following days, Haruto visits Misaki every day and speaks to her through the wall. He tells her about every detail of his life and work. Even though she doesn't show herself to him, hearing his voice and knowing that he still cares about her makes her feel happy. One day, Haruto organizes an exhibition for his photography and invites Misaki. She decides not to go, but Takashi asks her not to give up on one of the most important things, which is love. So she wraps herself in a bright red coat and a fluffy pink cap and eventually leaves the house. When she arrives at the exhibition, she notices photographs of all the places she visited with Haruto. There's the barbershop where they met for the first time and the place where he proposed to her for marriage. This makes her emotional and she breaks down in tears. On her way back, she slips on the road due to the snowy conditions. At that moment, Haruto arrives to pick her up and she's delighted to see him after so long. Unfortunately, he doesn't recognize her and greets her like some random old woman. As he departs, our heroine smiles, realizing it will be their last meeting. The scene then shifts to after Misaki's passing, where Haruto visits her house to meet her family. Ayano apologizes and said that Misaki didn't want him to attend her services. He asks to see her room, and as he looks around with teary eyes, he notices the pink hat. When Haruto realizes that she was the same old woman he helped in the snow, he feels guilty and starts crying. After this incident, he falls into a deep depression and locks himself in his room. He holds her scissors in his hands and decides to end his life. But suddenly, he's interrupted by Ayano, who brings him a letter Misaki wrote before her death. In the letter, she reminisces about their days together and says Haruto is the love of her life. She claims that the passage of time has always terrified her, yet some things never change, and his photographs reflect this. She apologizes for not being able to attend his exhibition and claims she was sick that day. 
She then says she doesn't want him to stop taking photos and wants to see them when they meet again. Upon reading this, he begins to cry and remembers the moment they shared together. The movie ends with Haruto following the path that Misaki wanted for him and continuing his career as a photographer.